Well, happy 4th of July, everyone out there. This is your buddy over here in Spanaway, Washington. So I can see how much power is coming in off my rack of uh, combined uh, four Siemens SM55 and the Kyocera 80 watt, the two of them, and then the Sharp 80 watt. Um, these, this is the amp meter showing the amount of amperage coming through the uh, negative side coming from the charge controller. And the positive is just directly to the positive side of the battery bank from here. And then I have joined both racks of panels. Remember I cut the wire from, from those. And I have them joined together with the new rack here that I have set up. You can see I have it mounted appropriately with the railing and the hardware. 3 8 you know, standard, not washer, lock washer, bolt. And then I have these um, smaller, see the quarter 20 was too small for to fit through the hole, so I had to use this bigger washer here. So all these rails are holding the panels up, and then I have positive to positive to positive, negative to negative to negative parallel and then from one negative side goes to the combined to the charge controller with the other rack and then the positive side is combined and goes to the um, charge controller also. Pretty nice panels. They get hot. <laughs> now the sun's going behind those trees so and so they get enough power now I'm running this washing machine right here. You can see washing clothes. It's actually Falling quite a low. They neighbors like to hear things explode around here. Just kids, you know, they like to hear explosions. So I have this rack here combined with this rack here. And then the power is enough to uh, run the washing machine, maintaining the batteries at a constant level of voltage. So here you have the join going to there. Yeah, I'll see. Power level here is coming in at running at 525 watts, um, 7.0 amps, 14 watts, and then my voltage here, uh, maintaining a voltage. But the sun's just gone behind the um, the trees, so <sighs> I'm pushing it. I'm pushing the system. That fan's coming on too, so it's using power. I'm actually running my computer at the same time, <laughs> and it hasn't shut off. It's been I had to tighten the bolts because the uh, the nuts were loose, and the power wasn't it was it wasn't getting through. It was there was resistance and it was heating up, and it wasn't using it wasn't efficiently running through the wire. So I had to. That's that positive. There's a negative end over there. I drilled a hole through the bar, and I got a I got it clamped on there. Same with the with the side to the uh, inverter. I have that thick wire. I'm using a, um, <laughs> I know it's kind of funny, but I had to make the best contact that I could on that bar. That's the problem with this bus bar. It's, it's, it's real hard to connect things to it. I need a bench grinder and I need to grind it flat on that, that so I can put the put terminals on those, on the ends. Right now it's kind of, I know it's kind of dumb, but same thing with that. It's kind of, I need to put like a breadboard or something. Shield that, keep it out of the so it doesn't get wet at all. There's the uh, Tango car, you know, rich man's toy. <laughs> and there's that old Harbor Freight box, I don't use that. The lights went out, <laughs> these little 12 volt lights went out, so I've had them on all the time. And of course, safety equipment. You always got to wear, uh, you know, glasses if you're working with drills and wear a helmet if you're going to be hoisting things onto a roof. Or yeah, of course, if you don't want to hear fireworks or bones or you don't want to hear your drill or your saws running all the time. these And this is good, you know, if you want to save your ears, you know, <laughs> for, for your old age. And, you know, yeah, this is your friend here, uh, Paul Murphy, over here in Spanway, Washington, signing off. Have a great fourth. Bye.